Up, folks, excuse me. Mom and me, mom and Harmony is headed to lunch. That's normally just want to go to Applebee's. She talking about no shit. Oh, I have to go to Applebee's a chicken fillet, which I love chicken fillet. Um, she said chicken fillet. I'm like, well, dang, B, you know, we could have went to um Applebee's. I could have got my darn honey barbecue boneless wings with me a darn. Uh, loaded baked potato on the side or my freaking no knock to them hold them y'all know them know. Mama, no. You always pull my mail out, out. Hold on, let's move my belt back. Oh, okay. Nothing for you. I don't even know what that is. But anyway, have you heard this new thing called sling? Have y'all ever heard this thing that's called sling? I heard it's sort of like um, Amazon uh, fire stick thing. No, it's because you know that like, cable and stuff is like so played out now. Like, I wouldn't say played out because you still watch your TV. But um, out here in the country, we can't get cable. We have to get satellite, which is still good. You know, Dish Network, Direct TV. People in the city still have that too. But like Comcast cable and all that stuff. They rip you out. Well, I think that red TV tried to rip my mom, wasn't it? I'm a Dish Network girl myself. Uh, I'm a direct TV. I don't, I don't do Dish. I like Dish. I don't like Dish. Dish is limited. What do you mean? They won't give you all the channels that you Mom, how would you like I put you in this house over here? You ain't gonna put me in that demonic house. How you know it's demonic? That was that man, man stayed there with his two witchcraft whores. I mean, witch, I'm sorry, Nikki. Witchcraft women. And um, <laughs> you say witch got horse. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, witch got women. So, um, is he blind? Um, um, no, he just got tattoos over his eyes. But why he be carrying out like, a little stick like he blind? And, and no. the girl, lady be always beside him, like trying to guide him and walk or something. No, that he had them chained to him and, they'll, and everything. So you know, excuse what the what? Had them chained. What about the dogs stretched out like they dead out there? No, they get some sun. Dogs do that. There's something weird going on there today. That's why I give my, I, I give everything to God. I'm it's, it, it's the government with, the, with them chemicals in the air. I'm so sick to my stomach right now. Mama, it, it's up to you to believe it or not. Even listen, my, listen. even even my subscribers are able, girl. You know, girl. You know. I don't care. But they go dish network and they tell to go pull up in my yard. Listen, let me do this right here now before you get started with your vlog because I want to be true to the, the YouTuber that asked me this. I don't know why you didn't record your own no, video. Baby, just shut up. Y'all, let mama talk. I don't know, y'all. Just stop. hurry up. Make it quick because we only got limited time today. Listen, um, for the YouTuber who asked for inspirational testimony, I want to give a testimony. And I don't, I'm not really sure if my daughter knew all of this testimony, but I'm going to give it. Um, are you talking about your husband? Are you talking about no, some past I'm rape incident? No, I'm not talking about my husband. I'm talking about survival. A lot of times people want to give up because of things that have happened in their lives. A lot of times people reflect back to the things that happened in life and they feel like it holds them down, holds them back, keep them from doing the things that they want to do. They can't face, they can't live. I want to encourage somebody to get up and move forward. I tell you, back in, in sometime in 1990, the early parts of 1990, when I lived in Tampa, and I was raped in Tampa, I have these wounds in my chest, the scars that I have not gotten done. Show them. I have scars up in my chest. You can't see that from way back then. I got scars in my chest. So the chest is chest back to you. As they see my hand, child, they don't see nothing. They got, I got ch scars up in my chest where I was stabbed up here, cut up in my chest. And the person who did that was caught up with my appearance. He was more concerned with the way I looked. He followed me home. And he kept stalking me for a while. So, um, but what happened was, when that happened to me, I myself could not function. I pretended that I was functioning. And I decided I was going to take my own life. So at that moment, at that moment, I was on Nortripoline because I was going for counseling. 
I took the whole lot of nortripoline and I also cut my wrist and I was prepared to die. I laid there to die. And I tell you, I saw the blood splatter on the wall when I cut my wrist. I still have indentations on my arm, but it's dark, but I'm gonna show you how God would do things. He'll leave, leave tracks where he's been if he don't leave, if it's not a big scar, but he'll leave tracks where he's been when he's done some healing. And so, with that being said, I thought I was gone, but I woke up the next morning, or in the middle of the night, I should say, um, after falling back. And I, the first thing that I thought, I, well, I thought I was in hell because it was so dark in the house. But then when I, I looked around, I saw the clock blink, and I said, I know there was no, no clock in hell. So I got up, and I went to feel for the wall, and I felt the pain in my wrist. And when I turned the light on in the house, and the lights somehow, the, the lights had gone out. But when I turned the lights on in the house, I realized that I was still alive. And I looked at my wrist, and my wrist was crusted over. And I looked on the wall where I saw the blood splat on the wall because I used a straight edge razor to do it because I was used to doing my own hair. I was a barber stylist at that particular time and working at another place. And when I looked over the wall, there was no sign of blood on the wall. There was only dots on the on the towels that I used to put underneath my wrist. I had laid on laid on the bed so that if, when they came to get me, they wouldn't have a huge mess to clean up in my mind. But there was only dots there. When God has plans for you in your life, trust and believe that no amount of hell can stop you. When God says that you are going to be somebody, you're going to do something regardless of how long you are going through this drought. Do not stop. Keep pushing. The only time you will die, the only time you will fail, if you stay stagnant, stay still and don't move. If you do not encourage yourself, if you do not read the word, if you do not believe in God, if you do not believe that you are somebody, you will be left behind in the devil in hell and his and his, and his, his uh, negative angels will eat you up like vultures. So if you want to be somebody and you know God has called you to be something, if you have that excitement in your spirit, and I tell people, I said, this is the leaping season. And because this is the leaping season, when you come in contact with your purpose, your spirit should go to leaping. You should be excited on the inside. You should be moving. So I don't know who I'm talking to. I don't know why I had to give that particular testimony. But I'm giving it because I want you to know, with all that I've been through, honey, there ain't nothing but a chip right there. And with all that I've been through, I still managed to smile. I still managed to stand. I still managed to keep pushing. I don't care what the world says that I am, but I know what God says that I am. I am, and I'm gonna tell you this right here too. I was 47 years old. My daughter told me about the beautiful comments that you all made about me being beautiful. I appreciate that. But I was 47 years old before I realized that I could look in the mirror and not cry. Because every time I looked in the mirror, I hated the way I looked. I thought I was the ugliest woman God had ever put on this earth. I could not stand to look at myself. So I overdid my makeup to cover up the face that God had given me. Now I can wear my makeup. It just says, uh, I'm telling you, there is not much makeup on my face at all. My skin, thank God, is flawless. I can just put a little powder on my face, a little lip on, lipstick or lippy on my lip and keep it moving. I am 52 years old, and a lot of times the devil will uh, cause you to have your years eaten up, and, uh, um, and you feel like you've been left behind. But honey, I'm going to get all of that back. I'm getting all of that back. Yes, I can look in the mirror. I'm beautiful. And if anybody don't think so, hey, that's your problem. But Psalms 139 tells me that I was fearfully and wonderfully made. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that I can look in the mirror. I don't care if when you're staring at me. That you may say, mm, she may not be all that, she ain't all that. She thinks she's that. Oh, keep your opinion to yourself, baby, because I'm good. I love sharing. And I love, honey, when I look around, I love my little children and my daughter. I sometimes she get on my nerve. God knows a lot of times. But I love my daughter. I don't care what nobody say about me. If you don't like the way I dress, turn your head. If you don't like the way I say, don't listen. If you don't like the way I look, please keep it to yourself. I am in good spirits, praise God, and keep on praising God. That's why I say I give God the glory on, on a daily basis. And with that being said, and that is always going to be my closing remark, with that being said, I am a happy camper and a God praiser. 
and a believer because this is my season to be in my purpose. And I'm going to continue to write the books that God has given me, continue to write the plays that God has given me, continue to stand before a congregation and give the word to the to the congregation that God has given me, continue to go and speak to the to different artists, um, audiences because I'm an inspirational speaker. I'm going to continue to speak to them in the name of the Lord. And whoever wants me to come and speak, please contact me. And when you contact me, please understand that I only give what God gives me. And if you want to contact me, come first hit, hit it through my daughter's page. And she'll get the information to me and we'll make some arrangements. Other than that, just keep praying for me as I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, be blessed. Thelma and Louise on the road. Who's Thelma? Who's Louise? I don't know. I ain't never there. I'm no criminal. <laughs> I, I haven't killed anybody. And I certainly haven't gone and laid up with nobody. I ain't never know Thelma and Louise killed some of that show. But I, know, I just knew that was real tight. That was best well, real. I, I'm, no, I'm not. I, I'm, I'm neither one. Thank you, Father God. Well, I know my body and Clyde. That was a girl and a boy, but still. Well, I am not a murderer. We are the, we are the girls, and, like, two and girls with body and Clyde. No, let's just, let's give ourselves a Holy Ghost name. Well, who, who, who was that? Mm. You, the, you Jezebel. No, that's a Je Jezebel lie. That's a Jezebel lie. <laughs> Mary and Martha. I'm Mary. A uh, Mary and Elizabeth. <laughs> one was carrying Jesus and one was carrying John. <laughs> Oh Praise God. God. John was John had the Holy Ghost and so did Jesus. So you got that you so, oh, I'm, I'm gonna claim either Mary or Elizabeth in the name of Jesus. Or I could even be Deborah that was a that was a, a war and soldier uh, for God and when the man did not want to go and do what God told him to do, here she went right on there and took that the state for the for the um tent and went in and drove it through the man's head. My uh, God. God told her to go ahead. That was a murder. It was, no, she wouldn't do what God no, told her. No, no, she that's still a murder. God told her to go and, and, and drive the stake through the man's head because of man. So if God tell you to go to drive a stake through somebody's head, you gonna oh, drive it? God, if God tell me to do, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna, I'm gonna crash that brain. <laughs> I'm gonna, I am I'm shy. I'm just gonna say, Lord, any one of your commandments thou should not kill. When if God tells me to go and bust your brains out, <laughs> Oh, I'm like, then you say you no know words. I'm giving you your word back. God, if He tell me to kill that devil, you better hope you're not the devil because you'll break <laughs> your own child. Your own child. I am ashamed to call you in anyway. God, help me in the name of Jesus, Father God. Father God, I'm obedient service. I'm obedient service. So if you tell me to knock the brains off. <laughs> Not the so, yeah, but I'm not my brain. That. But see, I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna listen to the Lord because the Lord does not lead you, lead you astray. The devil will come in and as, as a counterfeit spirit because the Bible says in Jude one and nine that when he was burying Mo, giving Moses a private burial where nobody else knew, there was Satan right there. And because Satan was right there, he was waiting to steal the identity of Moses so he can go around and he can fool the people. But see. I don't want no counterfeit spirit. I want the spirit of God at all times. He never will mislead you. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to on my lashes, Lord. You gotta keep your ears open for the word of God. You can't be messed up with these, these crazy people because these crazy people said they're going to kill people in the name of the Lord, and then God hadn't told them to do anything. But in laying all jokes aside, well, if God tells me to do something, I'm gonna do that. But God's not gonna lead me. But I can't say that He's he gonna tell me to do. But I'm. I'm going to be open to the work, to the hit, to the voice of God. I'm going to listen to you. Better make sure that's God. <laughs> I'm going to listen to it. I'm going to take you out. <laughs> I'm going to take you out, sir. I'm sorry. I am sorry. Oh, God. You better, you better hurt. hope God turn you into some kind of zombie. <sighs> so because I'm, I'm going to take you out first. Yeah. God's a hit me, girl. Yeah. That's your love man. I can't, can't wait to get this darn food, girl. My main thing, I'm getting my seafood today. I am getting my soap crab and shrimp today. Oh my God. I've been craving my seafood like for the longest. And then like, I watched, I'll see some, some, somebody had posted something on Facebook last night with all them sleeves. You saw that I shared it. About what now? All them the, uh, snow crab and shrimp and stuff. Nice. Oh my God! Then I got on freaking YouTube. I was watching some of my, my video. At the bottom, I saw a girl do a mukbang. 
oh, oh, a seafood boil. I said, oh my God, let me go click on it. I clicked on it. She was eating. I said, Jesus, I got to go get my stuff from Georgia today. I got to. I don't know, I gotta spend $60 on seafood. I will. And that's not one plate, you guys, that's two plates. So I can like take all of it back home, leave everybody sleep. I got warming up, put me a movie on, on popcorn time. Who took the picture of you right here? I sit down at 50 feet, I did. How you take it? Oh, you put on a time. Put on my, put on my time on my time. I, I was getting ready to say, my Lord, your chips got it so bad. Your children have it so bad. They know how to flat, I mean, flash that, you know, the camera, play, uh, take the picture and all that kind of stuff. Destiny and Trini, how many, uh, well, not how many, how many that really good, but the older three know how to take a picture of me when I ask them. I'm like, well, my Lord, my hands are all in front of the camera. I yeah, can't. it does be. you guys i'm gonna clear some of my memory out so i can have me a long longer vlog today longer than 24 minutes so give me a minute and i'll be back probably when we um be at chicken filet no we're not gonna get out you know i'm waiting on people if i can tell them what we want She's estimating how can that be that price? Let me uh, hi. Excuse me. I know she wanna ask about the tort some what, kind of soup. soup. What kind of soup do you have? We have a small and large and we either have chicken noodle or chicken tortilla. Okay, chicken chicken tortilla. You need a small one or a large one? How much is it large? The large one's like seven bucks, the small one's like four. Give me the small one, please. Okay. It, does that come with a combo or just with soup? It just comes by itself, but it comes with tortilla strips, kind of like a topping on it. Mm -hmm. And they have the chicken inside of it? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, I would like to have a um, small um, coke. You got, you got, no, it's like you have Coke products? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Okay, give me a small Coke, um, please. Oh, a beat just got a hand on it. Ooh, yes, yes. Get in your hand. Get in, get in. Okay, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Ooh. Okay, I want, I, I'm trying to look for it, but it's like the kid chicken little things. Mm -hmm. chicken the nuggets. strips, a nugget. Jesus, what is going on? The, um, the little nuggets. Four, six. Let's do six for her. Do you have chocolate milk? Yes, ma'am. Then you want chocolate milk? I'm gonna be about her face. Oh, um, yeah, let's give her chocolate milk. And um, I think you got the 12 count. Yeah, I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna have to kill him. Let's do um what on oh, my face. Ooh, yeah, oh, for me? Uh, I want the ooh, ooh. for the 12 count, right? right. You want the milk? Right. And what to drink? Um Coke with light ice. Okay. Mama dad. I'm gonna kill it if I got a chance. Mm -hmm. Mama dad. That way she's a, she's of allergic. Mama. Yeah, and I know it. Good. And let's get an uh, a, a eight count. Um, I mean a twelve count just by itself. Yeah, I did. Another twelve. You need one meal and one. one yeah. Okay. Anything else? I think that's it. And cash your card today. Give me a card. Swipe it for you right here. All right. Can you read everything back to me? I can it make sure. It is a chicken tortilla soup with a small Coke, then a kids meal with a chocolate milk, and then a twelve nugget meal with a Coke light ice with an extra twelve nugget. That's right. They're gonna have the receipt for you guys at the window. Okay. And y'all have a good afternoon. Thank you, you too. Who is my allergic? Do you think, yeah, I am allergic. Oh, you are darn allergic. See, I know it. No, I thought you were know, allergic. I thought you were allergic to it. But I thought you were talking about Nikki was allergic. But I am. Let that one know. He's allergic. Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm allergic to bee stings. And then it, it'll make me so sick. I have to go to the hospital. Up like somebody don't pop me. Huh? <laughs> I just saw him there. I was up on my knee trying to get that one for me. Uh, uh, nah, I was all in this camera. I'm sorry, but I was trying to get my Nikki saved too, and I didn't want that thing up out of here. They didn't watch how they backing out. Mm -hmm.
You can park right there. Thank you, or we'll park right over there. Thank you. Good. Is you gonna catch up in there for her? Okay. Come, baby. Harmony. Harmony. Okay, ignore me with the little fat stuff. Thank you. Here you catch up. Okay, here you go, Mama. Won't worry. Hold on. Yes, catch up, please. Huh? Go ahead and eat that, sweetheart. Ma, you need anything for your soup? Um, what's wrong with this soup? I where's, don't know. Where's the straw for the soup? Straw, my, straw for the soup. Wait, no, soup. Okay. okay. Oh my God, I love these so much. Hey, I can't be waiting two minutes for soup. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. The manager started hollering at him. What's going on here? They were etching up about. We have a lot of black people. Why are they doing this to him? Lord, I ask for the blessing food in the sun, Jesus. Hey, my boy, my crow lady. They want to make him sick. Honey, let me open your ketchup for you. You open your ketchup for you, baby? Huh? Let me see your food. No, that'd be nourishing to my body. I'm gonna open it. You know I'm easy to get sick, Father God. Huh? I just open up this one. Get that one. Please. Don't waste it in the car, okay? Put it right there. Just put it right there. Oh my God, you guys. My back hurt me so bad. And I think it's because of I love these fries. Mm. I'm, I'm trying to tell you about my back. <laughs> girl, I ain't talking about nobody back when it's time to eat, girl. Shoot. Don't bother me, yeah. Everything all fresh, you guys. If you don't know about chicken filet, I'm sure everybody do, but if you don't, you know, I'll show you. Mm. What about to say? Something smells spicy. Meat. I don't see no meat up in this soup. <laughs> Maybe something to chicken thing and crush up the door now. How you like it? Mm -mm. Don't like it? Need some salt or something? I'm, I'm missing a lot of things. You got them. Oh, huh? You got two of them. Uh, I'm sorry, here. Mm -hmm. Are you staying here? Just in case Miss Harmony could get more hunger. Yeah. You get more? That's it. You get more? No, I'm good. Uh -huh. Ooh, Lord Jesus, I need my accent right now. I got some flavors. So. That's the situation right here. Well, you know, the accent gives you cancer. Mm. Well. Everything gives you cancer, so whatever. Because the government polluting the water. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get this. I love soups and stuff if it's right, but it's going to You don't know what's right now, what, baby? What, you want to up? What? Put it right there, I get it. Mm. Taste and good? Then, and then. Why somebody rolling up on you? I got my table here. You'll be able to get a chance to grab that table. Let me go ahead and put it, because see it. Because they can either open that door, get the fuck out. Got to get the fuck out. Let me get my table on out here since you're going to. And I'm going to start the thing who's still eating. Like <laughs> yeah, let me go ahead on, because I got to always be on go. Cause you never know what's gonna happen. <laughs> it's, it's, it's charged. I'm so ashamed you do that right here out of me out there. I don't care. I'm, I'm gonna be on go. I can't have no attacks. That's like I told you. I'm gonna get you off of me. Well, my dad's on the light. 
Let me see. They gave you a toy? Let me see. I hear God say, get him. <laughs> what? This man is crazy. Oh, open it up. Oh, that's the best kind. If the Lord say get him, you gonna get him. How you gonna get it? You trying to? You gonna say evil? Mm, my my radar gonna go off. You gonna get stuck. Where's the photo from? Hmm. Oh, I got that Are we gonna look for the children stuff or something? We can. We go to roses. I guess some so stockings and stuff. Why we're cheaper than Walmart. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Walmart supposed to be shopping less or whatever, but Walmart is expensive too. Okay. You more than welcome, baby. You more than welcome. Good job, baby. You did better than grandma because I usually say thank you. Yeah, you ain't feel that. Ain't no man, you want to raise, right? <laughs> thank you. Look at the cutest power walking across here. She just is switching. Mama, mm -hmm. you got something to tell you. Mm -hmm. you put your mommy hat on. Mm -hmm. okay. I mean, no, no, not mommy hat. I mean, you put, put your friend hat on. Okay, this one. No, it ain't because you said you already had the mommy hat. You was ready. Take, I want to see you take the mommy hat off and put the friend hat on. <laughs> I think I'm pregnant. I got so sick to my stomach. My stomach is sick. Freaking out. My cycle is more than a month late. Maybe you be lying to me all the time. My right hand is Jesus Christ, Lord. I ain't lying this time. It is more than a month late. Don't tell why you're bad. You might take the bowl and just drink it on down. Now. <laughs> Cause if I don't, I won't be able to laugh. I won't be able to count it. My nerve. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting. And I'm thinking about just going to go ahead and get me a test and call it a day. Yo, <laughs> yo, that's what. I'm gonna get choked. You over there just swat, just swatting. I think I should got me a bigger soda to my stomach right here today. My mama depressed. Don't give something out. She just swatting the food down. Oh, oh, what is that? Let me see that. So I'm not open it. Grandma got some issues right now. Mom, I got it up there. Mom, I'm not feeling too good now. That's a good strong behind coke, ain't it? I, I don't feel it. it. Ain't doing nothing to me. Doing it. it has not done one thing. <laughs> Girl, I mean, it is good. It has not done mm -hmm. one thing to help me out right now. So this is your chocolate milk. This right here is for a four-year-old. Promise I'm a big girl too. It's a question game or something. Yeah, we'll be back. That solid red is so ugly and boring. Oh, girl, Easter. Mama loves Easter. 
Hi, Prophetess Ross. Hold up. Prophetess Ross. Ooh, pig. Oh, you want to pick my Higo on Harmony. Prophetess. Prophetess Campbell. My look at Prophetess Campbell. <laughs> my mom was at Harmony. Look like Rosa Parks. <laughs> <laughs> you look beautiful. Stand up, boo. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, she was. She was oh, beautiful. I'll take it at our house. Oh, no, no, baby. I'll take it to our house. John Revelation. John Revelation. <laughs> Everybody open their Bibles to Revelation 4 and 5, please. It says that. My look, my look, look. That. Hey, hallelujah today. Thank you, Jesus, Lord. It says. It says. Hey, hey. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you guys. Oh my mama, this is so us. But you probably want you uh, wear it because your legs. That is us. That's you. Us. Yeah. You better put them little knot knees uh, uh, out, girl. Y'all look at that. That is so cute. There you go. That is so cute. I got a company sending me one like this, though. But it's, but it's super long though. Mama, this is nice for you to just fix up. Yeah, but I don't, I can't do the short thing. You know what? You better start showing a little thigh action sometime. Tell Mama ain't nothing wrong with a little thigh action. Oh, look at these skirts, you guys. And they got them in black. Menace has had their thighs out too. Menace has been having thighs, AI, and everything. Everybody say that minister ain't no minister. Hold on, you guys. Let me put, put on my, my deacon. My, my deacon ass. What is anything called deacon ass? <gasps> oh, my God. I'll be right back. Hold on. Do another one once no. we get home. But right now, right now I ran out of um, get um <coughs> memory, running out of memory. Get him and now, yeah. Uh oh, sorry you guys about get that. Now. Okay, it's hot. We should have got us a drink. Okay, you can feel for the stomach. Sit down. Sit down. Put that seat back on now. All right, well, guys, we'll see you guys later. Love you.